thought it was about time I made another video. It was about a month and a half or two months since I made the last one. And I've gained about 50 subscribers since uh, then, so I thought I'd better make a video, because if not people will think I've disappeared, but I can assure you I haven't. I just haven't had the time to make any. The video that I'm going to do is about um, cutting threads with a tap and die set. Taps and dies, and uh, how to use them and what they're for. Um, so what they're for, uh, they're a tool to cut internal and external threads. So the die here will cut an external thread and the tap will cut an internal thread. So say we were trying to create this uh, nut and bolt, we would use the uh, die to cut the external thread of the uh, bolt and we'd use the uh, tap to cut the internal thread of the uh, nut. So the way we use them is uh, the dies go in these uh, die stocks and they're held in there firmly with set screws. Alright, so the way you cut an external thread is, you select the uh, appropriate stock that you're going to use. This is a um, 6mm uh, rod, it's an uh, old piece I have hanging around. Um, and this is a 6mm die. And one thing you always want to do is, is uh, lubricate. And this is some stuff that I made up myself, which... Uh, if you go on my website, you'll be able to find how I made it. This is uh, like a um, cut and paste, but a lot cheaper than the uh, shop bought stuff. Now you can lubricate it with anything, but um, something like a greasy type waxy stuff is better, because it stays on, it doesn't all dribble off. You can get um, commercial for uh, cutting fluids. Like this here, this is a um, maxi cut. Uh, it does a good, it does a um, real good job. But, uh, this is uh, more expensive than making this yourself. So, and I like like this better. It's, it, the threads come out better. Um, yeah, if you um don't use a lubricant, uh, you'll probably get tear out in the uh, material. Uh, so you won't get very good quality threads and uh, also prolongs the life of the tool as well. Um, so right, let's start. So on a die you've got two sides. You've got a tapered side and a non-tapered side. You need to select the side which has got the uh, larger opening, which is the tapered side. And that allows you to um, be able to start the thread easily. So. You need to um, keep the tool square to the work when you do this, because if not you'll get a crooked um, thread and it won't come out very good. So you need to get it on there square, um, push down with uh, quite a lot of pressure at first and turn to get started. And then when you've got a, couple, uh, a thread started, turn it back to break the chip. And you can hear the um, chip break when you turn it back. And you need to do that to get a good quality thread. And then just continue to do that. Half turn forward, and then quarter to half turn back to clear the chip out.
Also clearing the chip will make the die last longer as well. So I'm not getting a big chip build up. There'll be a link in the description to uh, my website where how I made this paste, so just have a look in the description and you'll find it. There we go. Just a nice shred there. So there we go, one nice uh, piece of threaded rod, and there's a shot brought nut there. Goes on lovely. I'll show you a bit closer. There you go, you've got a real nice cut thread there. No tear out. Perfect. Always make sure you clean your dies after so they don't go rusty. And then lubricate them with some WD-40 when you put them away. And then they'll last for a long time. Right then, so now we're going to um, tap a hole. And uh, I'm just going to use this piece of um, metal here. I've drilled a hole in it of 5.5mm um, because we're going to be using an M6 tap. Uh, you need a Pacific drill for every um, tap. You don't tap the same size hole as uh, what the size that you need to tap because if not it's not going to fit. So the holes are just slightly smaller to allow uh, the cutting of the threads. So um, what I will do is um, if I can I'll put a link in the description to a table of where it tells you which drill bit you need for which tap and if not if I can I'll try to put one on my website so you'll be able to find it there okay so just open the device uh, make sure you use uh, some kind of cut and lubricant if you're using some of this uh, paste Make sure it's um, square to the workpiece. If not, you could snap the uh, tap inside the workpiece and just apply a small amount of pressure. And then the same as before with the die, half a turn, quarter of a turn back to break the chip off. This is a piece of um, aluminum or aluminium as we call it in the UK. So it's pretty easy to tap. And also if you've got a blind hole which is um it doesn't go all the way through, make sure you don't hit the bottom. Because if you hit the bottom you can you're liable to um, snap the tap in the hole. So that's complete. So this was the same size as the uh, piece of threaded rod that I've done. So hopefully it should uh, fit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think you can just see the threads in there. So, yep, that's how you use a tap and die set anyway. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Any information will be in the description. Thanks very much, bye.